Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you a very specific um, function in um, Arcade Script. Uh, I've, I've done a little demo here, uh, but you, if, you, if you follow this, you can certainly use the sort of base scripting I've done, uh, but you'll definitely need to do some uh, sort of testing, especially in field maps, which does behave slightly differently to a web form in a, um, in a normal browser, as you may or may not know. Anyway, so I've got these two records here and I just want some kind of capability of saying, you know, what did the user do to these two records? I appreciate there's, you know, you can you can track changes, etc. But what if you want to do something immediately, you know, in the form? So l l let me demonstrate. So if I click on this one, uh, so it just says hello to and had a change. Uh, the point position was changed at some um, as the last thing that was done to it. What's this one? Okay, so so that was actually a new record that was put in. So I, I trapped these two sort of events. That's really what's going on here. So so let me demonstrate. If I do edit, new feature, and click, yeah. Let's just open this. So I'll say ye odd attribute, let's say hello again. Now you see what it's done is immediately it's up. This is actually a list, a domain. So um, coded domain, so it's picked, uh, I don't know, it's code two or three or something, is a new record. But I've also generated this bit of text there at the at the base. So if I click on this, uh, if I just get rid of edit and click, you'll see that that was a new record. Marvellous. Now we can also, let's select and click on that, but now update the attribute. You see, so now it says I've updated an existed record and this was an update to attribute one, which is ye or the attribute. That's attribute one in my feature there. Um, so I've, I've trapped an update there, you see. So I've, I've trapped, an in, uh, trapped the um, insert event and the, the sort of update. Uh, and I'll show you how that's done. I'll just delete that actually for the moment, just to clear the decks. Now, um, one that you may certainly um, may be more useful, especially on the, in field maps or just generally, is well, geographically, what happened, you know, geometrically, what happened to the um, point. So if I now move this, let's move it over there. See, it says changed point position, and the point was moved 182.84 meters from its original position. I mean, you could you could do bearing and everything on this, you know, in a, in a easterly direction or something. But there's loads of stuff you could do there. Um, and if I move it down here, you see it carries on, but it's from its original position. So if I move it back there, roughly where it was, it should be a lot less. There you go, 69. So you see how I've I've trapped the. Um, let's just delete that for the moment. Um, trap those um, events. So how is that done? In your layer, uh, if you go to forms, so in the form, here we are in the form, uh, let's look at um, this. This is one of the first calculations. Let's go to Arcade Script, let's have a look, Edit Arcade. So what you can see here is straight off I pick up the geometry um, and what I do is detect, was this an insert? And that's really what is happening here. It's this edit context dot edit type. Was it equal to an insert? Was the insert event triggered here? If it was, well, just return one. Now, one, let's just go back to, um, yep, it's in here. We'll just, we'll just bring up the feature layer. So we go to fields. We go to change type and edit my list of values. You see, one is insert new record. It's an insert. Two, code two will be an update update record, and code three will be changed point position. So that's what I've put in there. So that's why it returns this one. So I actually return that, that, that domain code. Now, then I do another. <clears throat> now, if it wasn't that, then it's going to fall into um, update. Um, sorry. Was it an update? I check for an update. Uh, so I, if it was an update and that's what's triggered, that means you've got original geometry that you can pick up. So what I do is I look at original feature, dollar sign original feature. So what that does is store the previous value 
for that feature. So you can you can you can interrogate the previous values of a feature before the form was you know the the user made changes put put edits in. So and it stores an entire you know so if you've got 20 fields in your form you're going to have you're going to be able to um, query any of those 20 fields of the original value using original feature so i said so i um store in old geometry the geometry of the original feature i then pick out the x and y um and then um down here i say um you can see does the new x um, is it not equal to the old x and it does the new y not equal to the old y in which case return that um, the position was changed so here in the update I do re return this so I think there's a bit of fixing there actually I would say I would tidy this up you know I, I would I would um, tidy up this logic that's going on here so um, uh, because it will uh, yeah I would um, that's what I meant right right at the beginning of the video is to, to just testing this and, and double checking the logic I've, I've just mapped it out hacked it out just just to show you so that return three is the um, uh, what do we call it the change position position um, so what's what happens down here well it's much the same but I, I just wanted to build a text string um, that's a bit more sort of informative and also you could add lots into it so it's kind of the same thing but the return is this text um, and, a, and a, the, the sort of more powerful return let's say is this bit so I say that look if if new new x is different to old x and new y is different to old y um, meaning the point has moved then the point was moved and then I floor the distance between the two geometries in meters units uh, to two decimal places and then I sort of concatenate this bit of text at the end here so um, but uh, and, and so this you know that that, that is all picked up from um, original feature that's that's the point of all this so the main thing about this is yes it's um, it's uh, pr pretty neat I mean, I mean it works um, pretty well but um, I say pretty well because it needs proper uh, testing and uh, with the logic you know the sequence of my um, testing of the events and then what I return you know I would check that especially in field maps um, I, I noticed it uh, doesn't like initial nulls and things like that so you'll need to look at that but uh, but hopefully you'll get you started and uh, and this may be a useful thing to look at but like I said original feature and um, you can query the previous values and then do stuff I, I hope you find that useful. Thanks.